Welcome sa last part ng ating Thermodynamics Lecture Series! Alright! Magingay muna tayo! Alright! Congratulations everyone because you have made it this far. Okay? So, this time, ano, sa ating last part, ang tatalakayin natin ay all about the Carnot Cycle. Ayan. Carnot Cycle is the most efficient thermodynamic cycle. It consists of two isothermal and two isentropic processes. So, here we have process 1 to 2, ayan, which is an isothermal expansion. So, makikita natin bakit po siya expansion kasi po um, the volume increases. Okay? And then, um, isothermal means constant temperature. So, 1 to 2 is constant temperature process. Then, we have process 2 to 3. Yan. Isotropic expansion. Nag-expand siya pero ano meron sir? Constant ang ating entropy. Then, we have process 3 to 4. Nagko-compress siya. And sabi dito, isothermal. So, constant temperature. And lastly, we have isentropic compression. Nagko-compress siya. At the same time, it is isentropic. It is constant entropy. Okay. So, as we can see, this is the cycle of a uh, Carnot. No, Carnot engine. So, una, we have the heat added in the heat reserve. Yan. And that heat added will be used to uh, produce work in our engine. Yan. Magkakameron tayong output work out of the heat added. Pero, pero, hindi lahat ng heat added is matatransform sa output work. That's why, meron siyang pinupuntahan the heat rejected. Or the, nag nagpupunta siya sa heat sink. Yan. Natatapon yung iba. Okay? That's why we cannot uh, at attain a 100% efficient uh, process. Okay? So, kaga, sabi nga sa... Kelvin Planck statement. Ano, walang engine na merong 100% efficiency. Okay. So, pagkatapos sa ating heat sink, uh, dadaan siya sa pump and kailangan ng input work para mapabalik siya sa ating heat reserve. And the cycle must go on. Okay? So, yun po. Alright. So, punta tayo sa mga formula sa kailangan natin tandaan sa ating current cycle. First is the heat added. So, heat added is always the, ano, meron tayong dalawang kinds ng heat, heat added and heat rejected. Heat added is always the higher kapag po kind of cycle ang pinag-uusapan. Then, we have uh, T high, no, or the higher temperature times the uh, S2 minus S1, or the change in entropy. Then, he, we have the heat rejected, uh, T low min, uh, times S3 minus S4. O kaya naman, negative T low times S2 minus S1. Though we, we will not uh, use it often, itong mga formulas na to. Ano po ba yung madalas gamitin dyan? Ito, the network is equal to the heat accepted minus heat rejected by the system. Yan. Okay? So, kailangan nyo itong tandaan. Mahalaga to. And then we have the cycle efficiency. Yan. So, another formula na kailangan nating kabisaduhin, set of formulas, we have the efficiency is equal to work net all over the heat added, o kaya naman pwede tayong T high minus T low all over T high. Just remember, um, these temperatures are in absolute. Though, because this is difference in uh, absolute temperatures, pwede nang hindi i-convert yung nasa taas, kasi difference naman, makakancel lang din. Pero, yung TH, it's a mass that you convert it to absolute. Diba? Ayan. Work net, pwede natin ipasok yung ating QA minus Q3 dito. So, that's why we have the formula QA minus, uh, QA minus QR, I mean, all over QA. And remember, current cycle efficiency can be increased by increasing the high temperature and lowering the lower temperature. Para daw tumaas to, you can increase the higher temperature or lower the lower temperature. Alright? Alright. Let's do this. Okay. The, another principle is the refrigeration or the reverse Carnot cycle. Sabi dito, refrigeration is the process of transferring heat 
from a low temperature area to a high temperature area. Uy! Di ba parang contradicting siya sa principle natin yung ating uh, Clausius statement, di ba? Sabi kasi doon, ano, uh, heat is transferred from high to low. Ano, heat flows from high to low. Pero sabi dito, from low temperature to high temperature area. Paano 'yon? Ano? Oh, pasit tayo. Since heat flows spontaneously only from high to low, 'yan ang ang sinasabi natin, di ba? No. So, high to low temperature areas according to the second law of thermodynamics, specifically Clausius statement, refrigeration needs an external energy source to force the heat transfer to occur. Ah. So, ibig sabihin, um kailangan daw ng energy source para mabaliktad, no, from cold to high. Ganun ang mangyayari. No. So, from cold temperature to hot temperature. So, this energy source is called a pump or compressor that does work in compressing the refrigerant. No. It is necessary to perform this work on the refrigerant in order to get it to discharge energy to the high temperature area. Ay, ganun pala, sir. So, kagaya na sa ating, ano, um, freezer, sa refrigerator natin. Ano, doon na yung isa, no? refrigeration. So, nangyayari pala, uh, yung ating freezer ay um, gumagamit ng external energy source para uh, mag-transfer ng heat from low temperature to high temperature area. So, yung pagpapalamig pala is ano, kailangan nyo ng energy source na mag- uh, ano, na magsisilbing uh, tagapagtulak ng init mula sa malamig na temperature papunta sa mainit na temperature. At yun po ang ginagawa ng pump or compressor sa ating refrigerator. Ayan. Okay? So, ganun yun. Ano? Kaya pala, ano, pag madalas tayo nagbubukas ng refrigerator, di ba? Pumapasok ang init. So, ano nangyayari? So, pag pumasok yung init, ang gagawin ng refrigerator, kailangan niya ulit bawiin, palamigin yung, ano, yung loob ng uh, refrigerator. And that's why magkakameron ulit ng ano, additional work sa ating ref. Yan. Kaya pala, lumalaki yung konsumo ng ating kuryente. Lalong-lalo na ngayon, ano, ECQ, di ba? AGCQ. Sa quarantine times. No, madalas tayo, ang init-init, tapos bukas tayo na bukas ng, ng ref. Ayun lalaki talaga yung ating babayaran sa kuryente. Ano? Kasi po, uh, nahihirapan yung refrigerator natin na um, mag-transfer ng heat from cold temperature to hot temperature. Okay? Or yan. Okay! So, coefficient of performance na sinosolve natin during refrigeration of the reverse cardiac cycle, we have the Q, Q, Q accepted. Q, Q, Q. Magkakagalit na kawag kakalit ka kalit ka pangawa o pagalit dit na palang lang mayo. Tapi kung to hindi ko maintindihan eh ha ha sa sa pagin ko yan. Accepted all over. Q rejected minus Q accepted. Pwede din pong T low all over T high minus T low or in terms of the efficiency of our Carnot cycle. We have one over e minus one. Okay, so these formulas are all important. We're in the work net now. Ito si nasabi ko ano? Ano yung work net niya yon? Mas malaki po si QR kesa kay QA. No, so sa refrigeration, QR is greater than QA. Reverse ano nga? Reverse Carnot cycle nga? Di ba? So, heat rejected is greater than the heat accepted. Kasi kapag hindi nangyari yan, pag hindi mas malaki yung nare-reject na heat, eh di hindi lalamig. No. Ang, ang, ang point nga na dito, na, uh, <laughs> ano daw? <laughs> ang point nga natin dito sa refrigeration ay alisin yung heat. So, dapat mas malaki yung nare-reject kesa sa na-accept. Alright. Okay. Yan. So, solve na tayo. Number 33. Carnot cycle operates between 30 degrees Celsius and 350 degrees Celsius. Find the cycle efficiency. Alright. So, easy lang to guys. Ano, uh, nagbigay tayo ng temperature para sa ka degrees Celsius. So, syempre, ito yung T-low natin. Ito yung T-high natin. O, easy-easy lang sa atin yan. E is equal to T-high 
minus T low all over T high times 100. So, pag ginawa natin yan, oops, ito pwede hindi na i-convert yung taas ha, kasi difference naman eh. So, we have 350 minus 30 all over. Pero yung baba, kailangan yung i-convert. Ano? 350 plus 273. O, kasi pag sa taas, mag plus ka ng 273, ma-subtract lang din. Wala na. Ano? Cancel lang din. Okay. So, pinda tayo. Let's go! We have 350 minus 30 all over. 350 plus 270 equals so we have 0.51 or 51.36% meron ba tayo dyan? yes sir so 51.36% the answer is letter A easy alright proceed tayo sa 34 a corner cycle has a sink temperature of 100 degree Fahrenheit and cycle efficiency of 70% find the temperature of the heat source again Dito naman, ang binigay is efficiency tsaka yung sink temperature. Sir, ano yung sink temperature na yan? So, pag nakakita kayo ng sink, yan yung low. Ano, TL. Pag source, syempre source, mainit. Siya yung T-hot. T-high. Game! So, ganun pa rin po yung formula natin. E is equal to T-high minus T-low over T-high times 100 Okay. Uh -huh. Yan. So, di dito nga lang binigay na si, si efficiency. So, we have 70 equals uh, T high. Ano yung T high natin? We have, wala. Yung po yung hinahanap. Alright. Sige. So, T high is what? Mm -hmm. Minus T low. So, ang low natin ay 100 Fahrenheit all over uh, T high. So, dito magdadagdag na tayo ng ano, 273 ba? Hindi po. Ano, tatandaan nyo kapag uh, Fahrenheit siya, run kain po yung kanyang absolute temperature. So, we have plus 460. And then, makukuha natin si uh, T high in terms of Fahrenheit. Sige nga, uh, try natin. Kuha natin. We have 0.7 equals x minus 100 over x plus 460. So, makukuha pa lang natin dito ay Fahrenheit. Guys, ano? So, huwag kayong mabibigla. Wala pa sir sagot. Diba? Okay lang yan. 1406 point uh, 66 or 67 Fahrenheit. Then, uh, just convert it to, ano, to, to run kind. So, plus 460 pa. So, we have, uh, plus 460 equals 1866.67. 1866.67 run kind. Or the correct answer is letter C. Easy. Alright, so ganun lang po guys ano, ang ating uh, pag-solve ng ganyang mga uh, problems no, about current cycle. Okay, proceed tayo sa 35. What must be the temperature in Fahrenheit at which heat is supplied to a current cycle if, if twice as much energy is delivered as work as rejected to the sink at 40 degree Fahrenheit? Okay, nagbigay dito ng, ano, ng condition. Ano? Sabi dito, twice as much energy is delivered as work. So, ibig sabihin, uh, work. No, network. Nagburain lang natin. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, work is twice daw na uh, as work as rejected to the sink at 40 degree Fahrenheit. Alright. So, QR is the rejected and alam natin, yung ating work net ay may formula na accepted minus ejected. Okay? So with that, pwede tayong kumuha ng ano, re uh, relationship between QR and QA. Sige nga, uh, pasok natin dito. Ayan. 
So we have 2QR is equal to QA minus QR. And with that, transpose QR, we have QA is equal to 3QR. Ano? Easy. So yan po yung ating kakailanganin na relationship. No? Okay. Anong hinahanap sa atin? Temperature at which heat is supplied. O yung mas mataas na temperature. Oy, temperature. So, paano kaya yan, sir? Aha. Hmm. Ibig sabihin, meron pa rin po tayong gagawin dito about efficiency. We all know that efficiency is in terms of, ano, in terms of uh, heat is QA minus QR all over QA. In terms ng temperature naman, parang ganyan lang din, no? T high minus T low all over T high. Yan. So, ang gawin na lang natin, since meron tayong relationship ng QA and QR, Pwede nating ipasok dito. Okay. So, we will find what? Aha. In terms of QR muna tayo. Sige. So, in terms of QR, tapos dito meron tayong T high and T low. Yan. Okay. So, uh, tama. Ano? Makakasell pa si QR dito kapag pinasok natin dito. And definitely, makukuha natin si T high. Game! So, try natin ha. Aha. So, QA is equal to, itong gagawin natin. Yan. Quit natin yung dalawa. Alright? Alright. Ito lang to. Okay. We have QA, 3QR, minus QR, all over, ano yung QA? 3QR, alright. Equals, T high yung hinahanap natin. Minus T low, which is 40. All over T high. Huwag kakalibutan si plus 460. Alright. So, dito we have 3 minus 1, 2. Tapos 2 over 3. Kasi kakansili na natin yung mga QRs dyan. So, ayusin lang natin. We have 2 thirds. Equals to T high. Minus 40. T high plus 460. And then we can get the value of T high in degree Fahrenheit which is what is us in our uh, problem alright so let's do let's go let's do this we have two thirds two thirds equals bang, T high minus 40 all over X so guys malapit na tayong matapos ano after uh, 10 then lecture series diba? oh, oh. We're, we're, we're seeing the end of the tunnel so again I would like to thank you for, for listening diba? and I hope mar marami tayong natutunan sa ating thermodynamic lecture series alright so okay so hindi pa naman tapos meron pa tayong 36 <laughs> nag ano lang ako uh, nalulungkot lang ako deep down in my heart I still love you! Alright. Okay, so we have 1040 degree Fahrenheit. The correct answer is letter A. Ayan. Okay, and for our last question. Our farewell question is no, from 36 a current cycle operates between negative 8 and 15 degrees celsius find the coefficient of performance so guys ano sok na lang natin yung mga given we have negative 8 the t low wag kakalimutan magdagdag ng 273 kapag degree celsius kapag naman degree fahrenheit we have 460 then we have t high minus t low we have 15 minus negative 8 and let's go, let's do this. Pindot na. For our last question. Negative 8 plus 273 equals all over 15 minus negative 8 or plus 8. Let's go, let's do this. Bang! 11.52. Meron ba tayo dyan? Yes, sir. And of course, the correct answer is letter A. Alright, so that's it. 
sa ating um, thermodynamic lecture series. I hope guys, may natutunan tayo and I hope um, magagamit natin yung mga bagay na yon sa ating mga exams. Ano? Okay? So, uh, I hope guys, magkita-kita pa tayo sa mga susunod na uh, lecture videos natin. And don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and share. <laughs> and click the notification bell! And for our last slide, of course, ta-da! Sabi dito, success occurs when your dreams, di ba? Ang laki. When your dreams, di ba? Get bigger than your excuses. Alright. So, diba? dapat daw mas malaki daw yung ating dreams kaysa ating mga excuses. At kapag nagawa natin yon, ano, uh, magkakameron tayo ng drive, magkakameron tayo ng motivation, ano, and self-encouragement na mag-push pa. Kasi alam natin kung gaano kalaki ang ating dreams. At never siyang mapipigilan ng ating mga excuses. Alright. So that's it for our last topic. Again, uh, I hope and I pray na in the right moment, in the right time, and in God's uh, perfect grace. No. Pagkuhan nyo ng board exam nyo, or uh, license examination natin para pare sa tayo mga engineers. So, God bless future engineers. Five! Let's do this. Bang! Meow! Shush.